Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei and today I'll try to explain uh, my experience fine-tuning um, Donut model uh, which uh, helps to parse and extract documents from forms, classify forms and do visual question answering on top of forms. So let's uh, jump to my screen. Uh, first of all, the most useful resource thing uh, for fine-tuning, uh, for the don't model fine-tuning is uh, uh, Transformers Tutorials repository from Niels Rogan. And if you scroll down over here, uh, you'll get uh, a list of don't related notebooks that he shares in this repository. You can either go uh, to the folder in the repository where those notebooks are saved, or you can click on uh, this link open in Collab and open uh, notebook directly. And uh, and basically, then you could execute the code yourself in your own uh, Collab environment. So I was able to fine tune uh, Donut model uh, from the start to the end and run the inference just using um, Neil's tutorial without any issues and it worked just fine. All right, so uh, the way the, what I did, I created two uh, Collab um, uh, files, uh, two basically uh, Jupyter files that run in Collab, uh, one for fine-tuning and another one for inference, right? And uh, yeah, initially I was using free uh, instance of Collab, uh, it comes with free GPU and limited amount of RAM. I was trying to run uh, using that instance, but, uh, uh, but soon when I hit the step where uh, data preparation was uh, uh, executed uh, where data preparation was uh, was done. Uh, I hit out of memory uh, very quickly because it seems um, uh, when um, the, the algorithm which is used to prepare the data set that can be fit in, uh, for Donut's model fine tuning, it uh, requires quite a uh, significant uh, amount of memory and you need to have more memory than uh, the standard collab free instance gives. So I upgraded to um, Google uh, to collab pro and still I think there was um, still was getting error later on a fine tuning step. So then I upgraded to uh, pro uh, plus just temporary and then as soon as this fine tuning was done I canceled the subscription and if I'll need it in the future I'll get it as well. So uh, I, I can get it any time as well, so, uh, so there's no need to uh, keep subscription active uh, all the time, even if you're not uh, doing any fine tuning. Because maybe next month in February I'll not I'll not do any fine tuning, so I don't need that subscription. And maybe in March I'll need it, and uh, I'll get it again. And as soon as you cancel, like in January, I cancel now. I, st I still have. Um, uh, uh, available credits or, or units, as they call, uh, available uh, during for, uh, until the, the next month, uh, until the subscription ends. So that's quite convenient. Okay, so yeah, I was able to fine tune it, um, as I said, using Colab Pro Plus instance uh, with uh, high memory and premium, premium GPU. I think A uh, one thousand uh, Nvidia, and the fine tuning. Uh, uh, this fine tuning is done on top of a uh, core, core data set, which is uh, visible over here. Uh, this data set, is, uh, which is used for the fine tuning, is, is standard. It's coming from the neighbor, uh, from, from Clover uh, AI, and this is the same uh, company which uh, open source uh, Donut model. So it's the same, uh, the same source. Right. <clears throat> and yeah, so. I'll not go uh, through all the steps of this notebook because uh, all, all the steps are uh, s explained uh, with comments uh, in original notebook from Niels uh, in Hugging Face, Hugging Face tutorials. Uh, uh, yeah, my point is just to uh, share my own experience how I was how I was running the code and what type of uh, call-up instance I was using and uh, the fact that it was uh, successful at the end. Yeah, so uh, it goes here all the data preparation, data set preparation, right? Then, yeah, the most of the code that you you get, uh, the, the largest portion of the code is uh, related to data um, uh, transformation, data preparation, actually. And we prepare the data, then we create data loaders for the PyTorch. 
Then uh, in this case, the training fine tuning is done using PyTorch uh, lighting model. So we do set all the required parameters here. Then for we set conf tra training configuration related to donut. And it, what is very important step is uh, you should um, enable connection to your Hugging Face Hub. And when model trains, uh, then it will automatically will save the checkpoints to the Hugging Face Hub. And, and then when model will be fine-tuned, it will be, it'll save the final model there on, on, on Hugging Face Hub. This means later when your fine tuning will be done and a call obsession will end, you will not lose the fine tuned model. It will stay stay on a hanging face hub, and you can use this reuse the same model for the inference or for the future fine tuning and so on. Yeah. So over here, we run uh, training. We feed the model. We do fine tuning, and it took six uh, and a half hours in my case with this uh, call of pro plus instance uh, running on top of a one 1000 um, GPU uh, from NVIDIA. Okay, and when training was done, I was using the fine-tuned model, not the, the original model from the uh, donut, but uh, my own Katana ML over here, and I got the model. Then this, again, data preparation step is executed. You could... Um, uh, to, to understand better how it runs, uh, it's, I would advise you to go and debug the code and, and see um, uh, what logic is executed, so you'll get uh, better understanding about this. And then, and then I uh, printing out mean accuracy, the same as in original notebook from Niels, and my model got around 90% accuracy. And I think uh, the, the accuracy reported in Niels notebook is uh, around 95%, something like that. So probably if I would run multiple times the same fine tuning, I would be able to get um, maybe a better result, like 95%. But this was just a single execution, one time run, and uh, I got 90%. So I think it's uh, it's quite decent as well. Yeah. So another notebook I got is for the inference. So um, um, it's also based on example from Niels. Uh, from from the notebook where he, he explains how to do inference on top of donut model. So I get a sample data set from Hugging Face, which contains one uh, three, three images and one of them is received, which is used in this example. So this is the receipt. And what we uh, do here, we again loading a fine-tuned uh, Katana ML model. Then we uh, send uh, uh, input data to the processor, get back the result over here, and we're printing out uh, th this one line uh, JSON L uh, format uh, result, which is extracted by donut from the image. And this one is a more readable JSON sequence. Uh, so we see total price is 17,000. And if we compare it with the image, uh, we see that total is 17,000. and change for example is 3000 and if we check here we can see the change is 3000 so data was extracted correctly in this case yeah and uh, this is the hanging face hub and this is our model which was fine-tuned on donut as i mentioned and uh, at the end it was uh, of the fine-tuning it was automatically pushed to the hanging face hub because we enabled connection between our notebook environment where model was fine-tuned and the hanging face hub so we, at the end, we are able to reuse the model. So it's not just a single uh, run fine tuning and then we lose the model. No, we keep it for the future, for the future use, for the future fine tuning, and anyone can use the same model uh, as well for, for the fine tuning or for the inference. Okay, so in this video, um, it was just explanation how I was able to fine tune the, uh, the model. Uh, based on standard uh, tutorials uh, given by uh, Hugging Face uh, team by Nils uh, uh, Roger on his uh, GitHub repo. And I think th this kind of step is essential when uh, you want to uh, try the model with your own data. So you uh, initially you would like to execute the fine-tuning with the blueprint data and you would uh, like to see if the model 
fine tunes in general maybe there are some runtime errors and it's impossible to fine tune it and like in this case we saw that fine tuning with the standard data sample data set like chord was successful so this means the next step would be to try with our own data set which is not um, uh, chord not uh, other like receives data set but our own data set specific to our uh, use cases to try how uh, it would run to fine tune the model and how the inference would work. So hopefully this is what I'm gradually working on and hopefully in the next uh, uh, videos uh, I'll, I'll, I'll share with you more information how to fine tune uh, the model on uh, another type of documents, not on, on this uh, standard uh, core data set. But fine tuning on a core data set is a mandatory step to make sure that uh, fine tuning runs and the code is uh, executable. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.